Welcome back to another exciting episode of Cyber Defense TV. I'm your host, Gary Malefsky, and the publisher of Cyber Defense Magazine. Sitting in my hot seat today is a very special guest. Kevin Goschalk is the CEO and co-founder of Arcos Labs, and they deal with fraud and abuse. That's right. Kevin, welcome. Oh, thank you. Now, this is consumer facing? That's correct. Give us an example of the kinds of companies that need your technology and how it gets deployed. Sure, so really one of the biggest kind of uh, challenges nowadays in the enterprise is data breaches kind of originate huge quantities of leaked usernames, leaked passwords. And what fraudsters are doing is they're taking those credentials and they're testing them against login forms across the internet. Right, so let's imagine you're an e-commerce platform, right? Mm -hmm. So what fraudsters are doing is they're using scripts and bots to automatically pair those breached credentials on the login forms to see if they can get in. Once they get in, then they commit downstream fraud. So they're doing, maybe they're buying something, right? Maybe they change the payment details to a stolen credit card and then they purchase. Uh, by using account takeover attacks, it get, gets past traditional defenses because you're expecting, okay, so if one of my existing customers logs in, that's a relatively low risk situation, when in reality they're actually using those accounts to commit high degrees of fraud. And there are millions of these on the dark web for sale today. There's billions of these billions. on the dark web. Yes, yeah, seven billions. plus billions of username and passwords, and of course, recent breaches, I mean like every week. Over seven billion usernames, usernames and, and passwords. passwords on the dark web. And the other problem is, it's not just that they've been breached and that they're available, people reuse passwords constantly. So if you're a part of a breach on one website, you're probably using the same password across like your work account and across mm -hmm. other things. Okay, so now they can use these credentials to get into your work email. Now they can do things in there. Some lateral movement. And then it just continues to kind of expand, expand from there. So give me an example. Can you name any of your clients that are using Arcos Labs technology? Sure. So we're working with uh, kind of a range of uh, you know high technology companies like GitHub. We're working with uh, a big chat messenger like Kik. They use our technology to prevent spam and abuse actually. Uh, we're also working with um, you know, a range of airlines like Singapore Airlines, which we're protecting loyalty fraud in that scenario. And people are using kind of pretty sophisticated automated attacks where they're going through and reserving seat inventory so humans can't buy it. There's like all these really interesting, quite fascinating fraud scenarios. So everyone from airlines to you know the Amazons of the world to yep. the drop boxes even? Yep, and all of them. The box, anybody where we're moving money or data and it's related to consumer accounts, you have a way to stop them. How do you, summarize, how do you stop that? Sure, so what we focus on is the incentive. Why are they doing this in the first place? And really at the end of the day, they're looking to make a profit. There's some kind of economic incentive. So if I can break into an account on you know, an e-commerce platform, I'm making money by extracting out some kind of physical good that I can resell. Mm -hmm. uh, we work with gift card merchants where they're brute forcing gift card credentials. And if you get the gift card credential, well, now you can basically go and use that to buy whatever you want or resell the gift card. So you're adding more layers of authentication? Right, so in that scenario, that's how they're extracting the money out. So that's the incentive, right? So what we do is we make it cost significantly more to make these attacks in the first place to the point where you know have to invest significant amounts of R&D and time as a fraudster to kind of attack and overcome our technology which sits in front of all of these kind of flows. Mm -hmm. So it's all about ultimately, you know, our job is to discern are you a good user in terms of intent? Are you going to go on to do good things? If so, we let you in. Or are you a bad user? Are you a fraudster? Are you a script or a bot? Or are you a malicious human trying to manually do fraud? In those scenarios, we have a special challenge technology we step up to. That's and, amazing because hmm. this is an area that hasn't been well protected. Right. Yeah, so historically what, uh, and, and really kind of the landscape today is everyone's looking at the data. So they're all about, oh, we'll make this frictionless experience. We can make a decision, we can remediate, we can block fraud based on just looking at the data. Unfortunately, fraudsters are really good at looking like humans now. So if they're using scripts, you can make an attack that looks completely human. Absolutely. And you'll get false positives if you start trying to block the fraudsters because you're good humans. And now look you're like going to lose too. revenue because yep. the good humans are going to get mad and saying, that's my real account. Why right. are you making it hard to get in? So when we've been tested against competitive solutions, we typically uplift. So there's two metrics we measure for. One is revenue because it means that our product isn't impacting your you know, downstream revenue. The other is, of course, fraud reduction. Every time we're tested against competitive solutions in the landscape, we uplift revenue from anywhere from five to 20%. Think about that. Like That's we're amazing. With big companies. Five to 20% uplift in revenue. Yeah. So if a company is in e-commerce, if they're doing sharing of files, anything consumer facing, you're telling our viewers, if you're in that business unit, CISO, can they buy direct from you? They can. So if they're using a solution today where they're trying to prevent things like account takeover attacks, 
there is a very high degree that they're hitting good paying real revenue generating customers as part of that's false false positives wow and we have holiday seasons coming up yeah. so before then go to arcoastlabs.com learn more about his technology deploy it so you can have a frictionless experience more revenue and less theft this is really cool stuff you made it through my hot seat. Thank I really, you. I really appreciate it. And again, to my viewers, a r k o s e labs dot com. That's right. Check them out. Learn more. Give them a call. Uh, get this solution into your environment as quickly as you can, and reduce the risk of consumer fraud. And then come back next time to an exciting episode of Cyber Defense TV. Thank you.